Hi friends. Today is March 31st. That means it's the last day of March. I brought my calendar to show you what that looks like. Here's the month of March and today is March 31st, Tuesday. So that means tomorrow is going to be the first day of April. Do you know anything interesting about April 1st? I bet you might have some ideas. I have a couple of surprises for you tomorrow for April 1st, but today it's still March. It's the last day. I wonder how many days we have been in school, even though we're not really in our classroom anymore. Do you remember how many days we had on our calendar before we left our classroom? I bet some of you remember. I think Azalea might know, Benji might remember how many we had. I think it was about 124, but I'm not sure if I'm right. Maybe it was 123. If you remember, send me a message and tell me. Today, we're going to read a book called I Can Read With My Eyes Shut by Dr. Seuss. This is one of my favorite books. You might have seen it in the classroom. Let's think about that for a minute. Can we really read with our eyes shut? We have to keep our eyes open so that we can see the words on the page while we're reading. So this is a super silly book called I Can Read With My Eyes Shut by Dr. Seuss. You might have noticed a lot of Dr. Seuss's books are rhyming books. So while I'm reading, listen and see if you can hear the rhymes. I Can Read With My Eyes Shut by Dr. Seuss. I can read in red. I can read in blue. I can read in pickle color, too. I can read in bed and in purple and in brown. I can read in a circle and upside down. I can read with my left eye. I can read with my right. I can read Mississippi with my eyes shut tight. Mississippi. Can you really read with your eyes closed? No. Mississippi, Indianapolis, and hallelujah too. Those are big words. I can read them with my eyes shut. That is very hard to do. But it's bad for my hat and it makes my eyebrows get red hot. So reading with my eyes shut, I don't do an awful lot. Good choice. And when I keep them open, I can read with much more speed. You have to be a speedy reader because there's so, so much to read. You can read about trees and bees and knees, and knees on trees, and bees on threes. You can read about anchors and about ants. You can read about ankles and crocodile pants. You can read about hoses and how to smell roses and what you should do about owls on noses. Young cat, if you keep your eyes open enough, oh, the stuff you will learn, the most wonderful stuff. You'll learn about fish bones and wish bones. You'll learn about trombones too. You'll learn about Jake, the pillow snake, and all about Fufu, the snoo. You can learn about ice. You can learn about mice, mice on ice, and ice on mice. You can learn about the price of ice. Nice ice for sale, 10 cents a pail. You can learn about sad and glad and mad. There are so many things you can learn about, but you'll miss the best things if you keep your eyes shut. That is true. We need to keep our eyes open. 
The more you read, the more things you will know. The more you learn, the more places you'll go. I'm going to put this one right up close to the camera and I want you to read it with me. <laughs> so now I can't see it. The more you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. That is a very important lesson. You might learn a way to earn a, a few dollars or how to make donuts or kangaroo collars. You can learn to read music and play a hut zut if you keep your eyes open, but not with them shut. If you read with your eyes shut, you're likely to find that the place where you're going is far, far behind. So that's why I tell you to keep your eyes wide, keep them wide open, at least on one side. It is so important to read with your eyes open. I hope that you're doing a lot of reading with your families at home. I've shared some different ways that you can find books to read on your iPad or on your computer. And I know that a lot of you and your families also have books at home that you can read together. I hope you're having fun reading them. So I have a fun assignment for you today. If you look down under the video, you'll see just one link today. And here's what I want you to practice. I want you to practice tying your shoes. While we're stuck at home, this is a great time to practice, practice, practice tying our shoes so that when we get back to school, you'll be able to do it so quickly so that when I tell you line up for PE, you'll all be able to tie your shoes so quick. Now, if you think you're already an expert at tying shoes, some of you are, um, watch the video and the very last one, oh, I don't remember what it's called. I think it's called magic fingers. That's a way of tying shoes I have never seen before. So if you're ready for a challenge, try that one out. All right, everyone, have fun reading with your eyes open and tying your shoes. I'll see you tomorrow on April 1st. Bye.